Happy Pride! Happy Pride Month, everyone. As for this being the last day of Pride, I want to just speak on behalf of me, myself, and I when I say being queer and being in the single life dating community, it is sad as Gumdrops, it's Charlie T back again with another video. We are just doing a drive with me. I'm gonna be running a few errands. I said, you know, why not? I am off of work as we speak. I'm currently on my way to check my PO box, see what I got in the mail. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go to the bank. And then after that, I'm going to get Kamikuro um, a nice little wash down, you know, outside and inside. Because, you know, it's my baby. It's my only baby currently. So, why not? As you can see in this video, the title below, I want to just update everyone about what's been going on. And my dating life which has been non-existent some folks i just let people know i'm in drought <laughs> at the same time i don't have an issue with it by me saying i don't have an issue with it i mean that i don't have an issue with like the lack of intercourse what i do kind of have I don't want to say issue with, but I, I would like for a change to be in my life is an actual relationship. But it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> Very tough. And I don't want just every little thing, you know. I don't want just any little old thing anyway. I understand, you know, patience is key. But, uh, child, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. And I'm just like... Is it ever gonna happen at this point? I don't know. It's not meant to be. Some days I'll be like, you know, I'm better off without anyway. And other times it's like, it would be nice for the companionship. It would be nice. Folks should just be playing too many games. I have no time for those games. Like, don't get me wrong. I love gaming. Like, I'm a big video gamer. However, comma. <laughs> that does not involve me playing games with people when it comes to my livelihood, when it comes to my love life in general, okay? Uh, that's one thing I, I do not play with at all. Video games is something completely different. Let's get that straight. I just really feel as though that... A lot of the people that view me and like are physically attracted to me or express that I am a very like easy person to get along with when it comes to my personality and everything, which I don't disagree with by any means. However, when that's stated, it then comes to where we're still not on the same wavelength because we're focused on two different things in our lives on what we want to focus on um, or like what we want out of life you know whether that be interaction relationship or that be like you know in our life as a business and as a whole and whatever um, which is very, the, that's the least common to be honest. The most common is that I'm just a trial. Like, it's sad to say, but that's how, just how I view it. Very trial and error. It's very, let's try this for 30 to 90 days, yeah, and pack a return. It's giving a new, a new toy from Chewy. My pet owners know what I'm talking about. Uh, when I say Chewy. That's how I be feeling. Like, I'm a new toy. I'm the buzz. I'm different. For a hot minute, right? So I'm not anymore. The situation then turns into, oh, well, you know, you're great and all. It's like this. It's like that. Until I'm not because of this and this and that and that. Okay. 
fine, cool. But it would have been nice to just avoid this situation altogether then. You know, because now I got myself all involved in this just to get her ugly in the long run. And it's like, why, why do I put myself through this? Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic. I cannot help it, unfortunately. It, it's just part of my being. I try so many times to stop and to try to change that. I, I can be a savage and I have been a savage before. Um, a long, long, long time ago. Like, I'm talking, like, late teens and early 20s. But even during that time, like, I simp easily, like, after a while. Like, it never fails. It never fails. Sucks because it ends up biting me in the butt at the end of the day. And I be seeing all these other couples be like, goals. Goals. Dot, 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 dot. Child. Mm. You know, some of these relationships for real, for real, like straight or queer or not, um, whatever relationship you're in, some of them be like, they be like goals and stuff. I just feel as though, well, I know as though, because I be seeing on social media anyway, like stuff ain't always what it seems. The grass ain't always green. When you, the way you see it on social media it's not always like that a lot of people be putting up for the cameras so that's all I'm gonna say about that and I don't want that kind of relationship either like you know I just made it to the post office not the, well yeah post office um check my P.O. box so I'll be right on it a bit oh um yeah I just we by the post office. Now I'm about to um, go to the car wash. And then I'm going to go to the bank. Actually, mm, I think it's actually before the car wash. I'm going to go to the bank and then go to the car wash to these apps. For me, at least personally, it just does not work that well. Like, thankfully... I found um, an individual on one of those apps that we actually like was able to create a good um, bond thus far and we still do communicate we still hang out and everything is cool however that's like one in a million chances at least for me from my personal experience it's been one in a million chances of that happening um, uh, and I'm probably exaggerating a bit, like, not literally a million, but it's, like, literally a problem. That being said, I also, with this latest person that I had met several months ago, it's giving a little bit of deja vu for me when it comes to just, like, everything is on point, however, comma, unfortunately we're not on the same page when it comes to what we're focused on right now. Maybe that later down the line, maybe not. I don't know, but I'm not holding my breath. So like once that was established, I was just like, uh, okay. Ugh, let me not, you know, let me not invest too much of myself all up in this. Now that I know, now that I know where things stand, at least I know, you know, I put myself out there, you know, because things were starting to shift in a really cozy way for me. And I was like, let me, before I get too cozy, let me be up front and find out what's good and what's not. And then, like, I was trying to see where things would go with somebody that I'm friends with. But, like... There comes a time when you just know when something is definitely right for you and when something isn't. And there was way too many instances for me where I'm like, yeah, I don't see it for this person and myself. And re it's respectfully, um, you know, some people just 
they're not in the right space at that time. And then others, it's like, I don't know if you're in that right space for me ever. Respectfully. And with this other individual, that's what that is. And I intend on having a conversation with the individual. I haven't as of yet because I'm trying to figure out the right way to have this conversation because everyone is different, right? Like, everyone has a different form of way of, like, being approached. And, like, I'm very um, cognizant of, like, being respectful and, like, if you know, someone is triggered by certain things, I'm not going to, like, say or do certain things. So, like, I I just want to make sure I'm going about the conversation in a polite way, um, and respectful way, to where it's not damaging, like, our actual friendship, but where it's also, like, you know, coming across to where it's, though, like, I just... I mean what I say in this kind of matter, you know? I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but if you know, you know. But, yeah, this individual, I just want to basically let know, like, I think we're just better off as friends. Mm -mm -mm. There's been way too many things for me, personally, that has left me with the ick, to say the least. And, yeah. Meanwhile, the other person, it's kind of like, you know, it could be something in the future, it could not be, but their head is just not there right now. They're focused on other things. I'm focused on, I'm focused on stuff they're not focused on, pretty much. Meanwhile, everybody and their mama seem to be living their best life. I'm like, how? Like, what am I doing that? Well, what am I not doing that y'all folks are, you know, living y'all best single life? Or in other cases, people, like, you know, are coupled up and stuff and doing that thing. And I'm just like, well, dang. You know, and I'm not one of those people that, like, because I've changed a lot over the years in general, but I've learned a lot, like, during the course of time. And, like, while why I was dating the last person I was dating over a year ago. But, like, I'm not one to be, like, cooped up under a person. Like, I enjoy my own space and time, too, along with, like, time with my friends and family. Um, but I also, like, when I do spend time with the person I have, like, love interest and in, I want, like, a lot of quality time with that person and take advantage of that. Like, I don't want, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I don't want, like, I'm not trying to be given too much of the time with them unless they want that. But even then, I'm like, okay, I don't want you to be needy. You know, it's okay to be needy sometimes, but not all the time. That's just me. That's me because I ain't gonna be that. I'll let you know real quick. All right, now, need some space. I'm gonna need you to do some things on your own. Like, I don't want the codependency kind of like, I'm not that kind of person, nor do I want that kind of person. It was going to be focusing on going to like music events, like fests and concerts and whatnot, different festivals, which. I've gone to a few things thus far. You know, summer's just starting, so I still have a lot of time. You know, well, as long as I'm on this earth. However, comma, have recently, very recently, you know, I'm going to go this way. Very newly recently, decided on doing a few other things instead. Um, that don't involve me going to um, these sorts of functions and events. I forgot where I was going with this. As long as I'm on this earth, I do still have all the time. You know, summer's just getting started. But at the same time, 
it's like I don't want to pressure myself to be like going to these events and like like social events or like parties of well concerts and festivals just to like meet somebody because that is the common way to like meet all sorts of people that potentially you know could be your you know future partner whatever the sorts you want to call it um yeah I don't want to go like with the attention though of me like actually meeting someone there like like that's just because that's not my goal that's not like why I'm going to these events I really want to go for the sake of like be more social like, and like meeting new people and actually like networking again like how I used to years ago and just going for the experience uh, it's just a plus to actually happen to find somebody of interest find somebody of interest and just go from there but just going for that sake, for that purpose alone, just going for that purpose alone, I just, no, that's too much pressure on myself to do, along with just, no, like, mm -mm. I don't think, like, going with that purpose is not, it's, I don't think that's good to go with that mindset. While I do have these goals of going to these events and whatnot, to enjoy those moments and potentially meet other people um, that I could do business with and, or, you know, make um, a future bond with in other ways. I also have a social battery <laughs> that can dwindle down quickly in a matter of seconds depending on the situation at hand to be quite honest the older i get the less patience i have and the lower my social battery gets why that is you know I, the only best like the best way for me to describe it is because genuinely i dislike a lot of people and i have had a low tolerance for people's like attitudes and like ways in general for the longest of time since I was a kid I've always like had a mouth too like I would always like say how I felt a lot of times with people and I don't know it's just it's always been my thing but now I'm more like more vocal about it and I'm more like into just showing <laughs> that I'm not here for a lot of things anymore um so yeah and I think that just all comes from at the end of the day that just me um that comes from me not having the satisfaction that people aren't Kind. You know, a lot of people aren't doing things for the sake of, you know, humanity, you know, just out of the kindness of their heart. They're not, you know, thoughtful. They're not considerate, whatever, whichever you want them to use. They're not. It, this world is crazy, you know, and since I was young, I've witnessed a lot of things and I've heard a lot of things. just disappointing to just see and I have a lot of I always naturally have a lot of things going on in my mind oftentimes when I encounter people I'm just thinking like oh, just why just just why you know no, I don't know everyone's life story, nor will I, and everyone has their backstory, but at the same time, I don't, I, I'm very much so into 
believing that there's no excuse for how you react or how you respond for everything, you know, don't make your background, your, your life an excuse for everything, you know, um, granted, yes, people have different ways in reacting and responding to things and they can go through similar or same situations. People are people. Everyone's different. But that being said also, it's like, it's about change. It's about evolving. And uh, I, I just, it, I, I'm just like, the fact that a lot, a lot of people, plethora of people in this world aren't willing to be open-minded and willing to grow and be loving and considerate um, and just wanting to they just want to be outright selfish instead all the time it's mind boggling to me it's really mind boggling to me Um, and people just want what's presented to them on this earth for which is very temporary, mind you, of course, but people just want those things by any means necessary a lot of times, and I see it from a mile away, like I sniff it, you know, and I've always had that gift to be able to do so since I was young. That's neither here nor there, you know, I completely got off topic. Other news... We are making our way to the car wash. Car wash, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. What do you guys think? Should I do, like... I really have been wanting to do a, um, like, karaoke car pulling situation ordeal. But because I don't know what necessarily will be copyrighted or not, I have not done so. Like, get a few of my friends in here, like, make a little mini series or whatever. That would be fun and cute, right? I feel like it would. I wouldn't want to do that for a while, honestly, but I don't know how that process works. I really don't, because I don't want to be flagged by any means necessary. Before I even get into all that, like, I would want to know if any of you guys would even be interested in watching some content like that, because, child. I've made some content already that if you guys seen it before um, and you no longer see it available on my channel, it's because I deleted it. And that's just because I'm like, oh, clearly folks ain't here for it. I mean, I do still have a lot of videos that um, I haven't deleted regarding mental health specifically. And that's because that's part of what my channel is focused on. Um that I kept so and you guys don't check for it at all honestly if I'm being quite blunt and honest uh, truth be told I feel like a lot of people don't see it for me at all I call it like it is I see it I call it how I see it like be mad if you want you know who you are say one thing and you do another or you don't do (laughs) <laughs> what I can say is you don't do. Um, and that's okay. You know, I've had to come to terms that a lot of people are fake supporters. They say they are, and they say they will, you know, support. Really not. It is what it is. I'll still continue to do my support on my end, but it, it's all right. Um, Like I said, not everyone's built the same. It is what it is. And that just goes back to not everyone sees for me on here and in real life. (laughs) But clearly, in the dating scene, that's that's just. I don't know how these people do it. Making these vlogs, I know you gotta. They be shorting the heck out of this because ain't no way I am vlogging all of this and talking 
Meanwhile, going to every single location. No freaking way. No, ma'am. So, we're going to just fast forward this to where we're at the car wash. And then after I leave the car wash, I'm going to go to Five and Below. Where I hopefully find this car decor that my best friend sent me. And then we'll speed off to the end of the video. Yeah. All right, everyone. So, unfortunately, I was not able to find um, Hisoka in Five and Below, which I was thinking that was a possibility. So, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, I'm about to actually give you some food because I am hungry. All. See you all on the flip side. Until next time.